ஹலோ அருவன் வெல்கம் டு ஜியோ மேட்ரிக்ஸ் நான் உங்கள் ஷரத் ஜியோ மேட்ரிக்ஸில் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ரைமரியான ஸ்ட்ரக்சரே வந்து பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு டிசைன் போடுறது தான் ஒரு ஆர்கிடெக்டாக இருக்கிற ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் இன்ஜினியரிங்க்கு டிசைன் அப்படிங்க ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன் ஏன்னா நம்ம தியரட்டிக்கில் எவ்வளோ ஸ்ட்ராங்காக இருக்குமோ அதை வந்து ப்ராக்டிக்கலாக ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆக போகுது தியர் தியரட்டிக்லி ரொம்ப ஸ்ட்ராங்காக இருக்கிற டிசைனர் ராமராவ் கூட இன்னைக்கு இருக்கும் ஜியோ மேட்ரிக்ஸ் வருது வெல்கம் சார் வெல்கம் தேங்க்யூ சார் ஃபியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் அபவுட் யூ சார் யா மை நேம் இஸ் ராமராவ் ஸோ ஐ ஹவ் டன் பிஇ சிவில் அண்ட் எம்டெக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் and i have got more than 16 plus years experience in analyzing and design of uh, steel structures uh, so i have done s- several uh, challenging structures and all i have done so what is the most important thing in a steel construction sir in designing in terms of designing what is the most important and uh, difficult to do in a steel construction sir compared to normal civil work uh, actually important thing is uh, like we have to consider what are the loads coming on the our coming on our structure what are the what are the different types of loads then what are the different combinations we have to apply then we will analyze then we will apply design parameters okay so what are the design parameters you use design parameter means we will be doing uh, like lat- uh, this uh, lateral loads so lateral loads means seismic analysis and wind load analysis also we will be doing apart from our regular dead load live load and other loads so uh, when coming to seismic load and uh, uh, wind load uh, wind load uh, parameters we have to define some certain parameters which is defined predefined in the code books if it okay. is an indian code code has given some uh, parameters to us so okay. if it is american code or some other country code they it is predefined so we have to pick current site location where our building is to be constructed where it is located based on that we will decide the wind speed and uh, seismic zone and all will from there we will arrive at parameters parameters yes. design parameters based on the parameters used to uh, design yeah uh, what is the most challenging thing working in a mountain sites sir like the geographic conditions are totally different like compared to doing in uh, coimbatore and doing in ooty what do you what are the challenges you face sir suppose if you are constructing any structure in a mountain like valley kind of or mountain kind of their uh, elevation different different columns will come at different different elevations okay so depending on that our uh, building height will be same actually from there column height will be at different level column length will be more more okay so uh, based on that and foundation size also we have to decide one point one footing will come at one uh, one location and one more will be at with different elevation like that challenges will be there this is the main challenge main yeah. challenge is like uh, based on the terrain terrain yeah, yeah okay so what is the most difficult uh, design you have done for geometry most difficult in the sense we have done uh, malls shopping complexes and uh, g plus 1 g plus 2 or g plus 5 building commercial buildings and all and multi story building multi story buildings and all and even we have done uh, 50 meter span building okay. width itself is 50 meters some buildings even more than 55 meters that all is a challenging only okay, because exactly. they want entire clear span 50 meter or 55 meter they don't want any column in in between in between that, that, that is one challenging one they uh, accordingly we will design member size will be will be coming heavy accordingly we will design to take care of our structural stability and safety what are the basic parameters you do while uh, preparing for a 50 55 plus meters of uh, buildings uh? B- parameters and loading will be same only same but the thing is uh, uh, we'll be getting more member sizes there for raptor for example will be our in steel building will be connecting connecting with columns rafters and sheeting here if, if, if building width is more than 50 or 55 meters column size will come heavy similarly rafter size will be heavy accordingly it depends on which site location it is there there suppose wind speed is more means their purlin size also will come heavy okay so what are the difficulties you face during uh, designing a parabolic structure sir uh, it's not difficult actually it's a basic geometry only whatever required shape we have to arrive at uh, in modeling point of view okay sir once we arrive at the model required shape remaining procedure will be same only applying loads applying combinations analysis it will be same only like there will be more arc type and bend type in the model mm. uh, how can you like uh, bend the steel sir like is there any idea that you give to the practical team while you are designing or is that like same mode of uh, no that we will be uh, showing in drawings what okay. is the degree uh, they have to arrive at uh, while for bending and all okay sir. bending uh, that curvature and all will be uh, specifically mentioning in the drawings uh, based on that uh, it will facilitate the fabrication process okay each and everything will be mentioned in your drawing right sir yeah yeah drawings will speak everything uh, what are the basic structure for drawings what are the parameters you do while you are uh, drawings 
yeah uh, to give input you are asking that input to the drawing in doing, yes, yeah, input in the sense first of all what what is the building dimension what are the building dimension length width height then base spacing base spacing means column to column spacing is called base spacing that and all as per client requirement we will give input clear input this is the requirement actually client also will be giving on basic drawing further we will modify to our as per our requirement and we will be giving our details and in that one what is the column size what what size it should it should come in drawing what is the rafter size what is a purlin size similarly what is a base plate what is the number of bolts what is a bolt dia this and all clearly will be mentioning in the design input based on this design input detailing team will be drawing all draw will be producing all these drawings uh so what is the toughest design you ever done for geometrics toughest in the sense uh, the crane buildings like 25 ton crane building or any commercial buildings more than g plus 5 buildings g plus 5 floors these are the toughest buildings where one toughest building means client requirement will be there okay, they sir. won't allow any bracing sir okay sir. in such a case we have to go for star columns accordingly we have to plan our column locations everything so this is what somewhat critical building okay sir for example uh, ondal paper mills we have done in satyamangala one project okay they are actually building clear span itself is 250 feet okay sir and 250 feet and additional lean to kind of that is again 150 feet The span itself is 250 feet. That is one challenging kind of. Uh, so there and all, we have to that to that is very near to open area. Wind okay. speed will be more. Accordingly, we have designed member sizes and all. That is okay. one challenging project. And recently, one Arun laser woven Arun laser woven one project is there. That there actually its uh, clear span of the building is more than 30 meters. And there we introduce client requirement is 10 ton crane has to run throughout the building. Okay, sir. That ten ton crane will be running accordingly. That crane beam, crane bracket, columns, everything we have designed. So, what are the pre-assessment you do while you are doing the toughest job in your field, sir? Pre-assessment means first client will be giving me uh, basic inputs. Okay, sir. That first we will study is it feasible or not. Any changes we have to suggest based on our structure analysis and stability point, a safety point of view. We will discuss with client. This is the possible. This is the best way we can work out. We will explain him. suppose he is having any, he is having any special requirement i don't like for example he does not want any bracing so we have alternative if he does not want any bracing means we can go for some other alternative suppose he wants clear span like is immediately in the beginning i said yes. so suppose 55 meter 60 meter clear span means accordingly we can uh, our design will change our member sizes fixing and all it will changes sizing of member sizes that and all coming to foundation part of any building generally some clients will ask they will take care foundation part sometimes some clients will tell us please you design and you give us the producer drawings so in such a case for that case first of all after designing our uh, structure and everything first basic requirement is we want soil soil so, test report so once uh, that soil test report given by client we will study whether it is uh, what is the safe be bearing capacity of that soil will what is the some value it will be given that we will study is it correct or not we will study whether that report everything we have, we have to study and we will arrive at it's genuine or not after uh, arriving at exact value then we will start the procedure of foundation design foundation design means first based on our columns in our in our building different columns will be there okay. what are the reactions moments coming from these columns we will extract from our stat model from there I, we will start designing our foundations what are the importance you are giving for the foundation of the project sir yeah importance of foundation means our main basic structure steel building is resting on foundation foundation is very critical for any building foundation is very, very crucial and should be very critical it should be properly analyzed and detailed so for that point of view first what is the uh, soil condition where our structure is coming that soil condition means they, we have to conduct one soil test based on that we'll get some soil report from that we'll arrive at safe bearing capacity of that soil that based on that value we will design the foundations and columns okay sir like you will be drawing for uh, you will be like uh, pitching for the foundation also sir or only the steel structures sir no, no that's what i'm telling foundation also okay. whatever the load coming from our steel, steel structure it has to go to the foundation from foundation it will go to the soil what is the maximum uh, load you have uh, designed sir for this project uh, for in my previous experience here in geometrics current company also uh, we have done almost uh, 50 tons also 50 tons load for 50 tons load and moment value also some 20 35 to 45 tons for this this these for these values we have designed foundations foundations and this above this foundation one rcc column will be there okay sir above this rcc column our steel column will be setting okay, okay so sir. they where that exact transformation steel column to rcc column we will be putting our base plate and anchor bolt design 
So uh, once, after, once after giving this base plate and anchor board, from there it has to go to the concrete pedestal. From concrete pedestal to foundation, load will transfer. Okay. So then. once steel part is done, then we will concentrate on pedestal design based on load coming from the steel structure. From there, it will go to the RCC pedestal. From RCC pedestal, load will go to the foundation. Foundation, foundation design based on SBC value, which is which is given in the soil based soil test report, will arrive at exact foundation design, which, which is economical. What is the difference you face, like uh, drawing for an uh, warehouse and drawing for a multi-storey buildings? Warehouse is kind of industrial building. Okay. Uh, their typical uh, frames will be there. Work will be simple only. Analysis design part will be simple. Whereas in coming into multi-story, floor to floor loading will be different. Floor to floor functionality will be different. Suppose for example, one floor they are using for one purpose. For, so for example, you are there taking for one, one floor they are taking, using for office purpose. One more floor they may use for material storage purpose. Okay. Obviously loading will change. change. Material store, where they are using that material storage, load will be more. Office purpose load will be like normal desk and table will be. That load will be different. Based on that, we will design our uh, design will change actually. Okay, so the weightage will be changing yeah, for yeah. each and every four yeah. floors. Huh? It depends on purely functionality of the building. Like how strong will be the steel structure compared to the civil structure? Sir? Obviously, it will be strong. Okay, sir. because uh, steel structure, no, it will be it is economical with less weight. Okay, main sir. thing is why we will go for steel structure means with less tonnage, we can arrive, we can finish our building with less weight of steel weight. Overall, if you see the tonnage, tonnage will be less. If you compare for the same building, RCC building weight will be, tonnage will be more than one and a half times or two times. Two times more. Two times it will be there. Economical wise and for and the cost Not only economy, and economy. And safety wise also. Sir. Safety wise, both are safe. Not yeah, Safety is not the issue. But constructability and speed of the construction, speed that of is the main thing. Okay, so we can construct very fast in case of steel building. Steel building. RCC means it will take uh, several uh, months or years also. Uh, sir, if, uh, can you design for a normal or three story or, or three BHK house? Can you design, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure. We have done it here. Yeah. Uh, like normal for house purpose, day to day residential purpose also, there are steel buildings. Yeah, we have done. Okay. We can do. We can do. That too, we, very fast we can construct also I mean, okay. compared to concrete buildings. Okay, sir. Uh, basic differences will be if we go with uh, space frame structures, uh, there we can go for bigger clear spans. Okay, sir. Like 50 meters, 60 meters, even 100 meters also we can go for, uh, go, go with this uh, space frame structure. Space frame structures. Uh, whereas columns will be normal like PB columns only, not normal steel columns only. Okay, if sir. you take the column supporting member above that one, we rafter in general PB building. Instead of rafter, we can go with truss member in uh, space frame structure. That is the main difference. So, if you go with truss, for, truss members, that uh, weight will come down when compared to our uh, normal PB rafter, steel rafters. Okay, that is then. a ma major advantage in uh, space. space frame. And we can go for even uh, 10 meter base spacing, more than 10 meter 10 base meter. spacing. Base okay. spacing means column to column. Column spacing. to column space. That, that one. Whereas that is not possible in uh, PB building. If okay. it is possible also, it is uh, not economical. Tonnage will come more, oh. obviously price will increase, cost oh. of the product will increase. The same thing can be done in space frame with economical, economical okay. uh, this one. Tonnage will come down and price also will come. So what is like architectural structures? Architectural structures in the sense uh, that whatever roof of the building, they okay. want in a different shape, like spline shape or curved rafter, whatever as per client requirement, different like triangular shape. A trapezoidal shape okay. based on client requirement. That, that is, is the architecture. That is architectural structure. The roof. Generally, normal PV building will be like a double slope building. Okay, sir. Whereas uh, architectural buildings means we can go for spine shape, or we can go for curved, curved rafter, or we can go even different whatever client requirement. Even we can go for this one. Uh, uh, circular frame. Circular frame. Dome or dome we, structure. Even also. we can go for dome, dome structures, structures also, also with the help of this our space frames. Space frames. It will result in economy when compared to steel building or PEB building. If you go for space frame option, it will result in economy. Okay, so tonnage will be less, and obviously price will be less. Price also will be less, yeah, and tonnage will be less. That's what it's okay. uh, directly proportional. Like okay. Tonnage is less means price also cost will cost of the product also. So what is, is pre-engineered building, sir? Pre-engineered building means it's even space frames also everything. It's pre-fabricated only. We'll fabricate in the plant and we'll take to the site and we'll erect it. Okay. Difference is we can in space room, as I said, we can go for higher base spacings and higher uh, clear span of the building. We can go for higher uh, thing, higher spacings. Okay. Sir. Whereas in pre-made pre buildings, maximum 7.5 to 8 or 8.5. We okay. can, go. Uh, we have to go 
beyond that we can't go. Okay. If we can go, but if we are going beyond the 9 meters and all, it and is uneconomical. Tonnage will be more. More. In such a case, we have to go for space frame structures. Okay. Multi storage building in a sense? Huh? Multi storage building like normal, for normal. example, residential building if you are taking a G plus 4, G plus 5. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. All the that malls, can be done commercial. In RCC. Instead of that, still we have to do. It will result in economy and phase of construction will be very fast. Okay, sir. Construction cost will be less and we can construct it in a very fast way when compared to concrete buildings. Okay, sir. So, what are the software you are using for the designs? Huh? Yeah, regarding software, uh, regarding majorly software. we will be using Stat Pro only. Stat Pro. Stat Pro. Actually, we have uh, MBS also. That is uh, that will not work out for critical projects. Only. Critical only like A type small uh, buildings only it will work out. Like how how will you identify the errors while doing the project, sir? While designing, is there any uh, geometric error or the structural error? How can you identify, sir? No, software itself that uh, software itself will not run. If any okay. error is there, okay, it will show the error message. So and so okay. particular place, so and so error has happened. You have, we have to rectify. Once we rectify, then further it will go. Okay. So, what are the errors you used to find out during these kind of things? What personally you by you? Errors in the sense, uh, as I said, any, if you are doing any error, further it will not go further step. Okay. Okay. It will yeah. stop. And you show a particular line. So, so and so error has happened. Please rectify this. Okay. It mm -hmm. will give the message also. Okay. So, once error has happened, you rectify further. If you rectify further, it will run. Okay. The margin so, of error is very slow and uh, it will uh, yeah. stop automatically when the error is happening. Errors will, human errors will be there. Okay. While giving input, uh, human error will happen. Will, will but happen. software error, if, it, if software is doing any error, it will give message. Okay. Sir. So, and so place, so and so line, error is there. Okay, Please sir. rectify. So, in case of human error, how will you rectify it? Human error means be after uh, analyzing, after giving uh, results, before giving results, uh, we will check one time. One before time. releasing results, uh, okay, sir. we will check one time. Everything as per our client requirement, everything we have correctly feeded or not. It is, it should be feeded to software. Okay, sir. Before running, before giving, taking the results from the output, uh, output of the Stat Pro or whatever modeling software, we will first, we will cross check one time. Our input as per client requirement came or not, we will check the input file. So, whatever input you are giving, it will design. It is our responsibility to give correct input. Okay, sir. Uh, so, your experience in geometrics, sir? Yeah, it is very nice. Uh, I have done so many projects uh, when compared to my previous company. And all. Okay, sir. Even I worked in Hyderabad. When compared to my previous company, here, there so many projects I handled. Okay. But sir. quantity of projects mm -hmm. I handled mm -hmm. very nice and very fast also I handled. And then every team was detailing team, other teams are also very friendly. Very nice. And will be interaction. Interaction will be nice. Okay. That's all. That's all. One chinnada, one kudusa katta daarukato, one multi-story, one mall katta daarukato. Design opening is very important. Design leda chinnna error rinse apna. Nang muna diye mudi churu opening solte. Each and every step in designing, pati detail na pay sir for Amar Rao kora. Chief Engineer in Design for Geometrics. Mailum palla videos mein vande trikke. Geometrics subscribe panega. Always stay convinced. Geometrics.